was just so effortless, I guess is the best way to say it. And this, like, I would think about this even years into our relationship of, oh my god, I can't believe we've been together for two years, but then you're like, I can't believe we've only been together for two years. I feel like we've just been a part of each other's lives forever. We kind of ran in the same circle, but never really crossed paths. And pretty much the second that we did eventually cross paths, we were like, oh, shoot. The connection was just so strong that, like, we knew it was a serious thing and that it was worth whatever. It was like two puzzle pieces, like as cliche as that sounds. Like it just felt so right immediately. Like that, we started dating in August. I already like, I went with him to Pittsburgh in November for Thanksgiving and like met the whole family. It was like, we just knew. Yeah, we just knew. I mean, literally we, after we finally like stepped from just being you know, friends uh, to more. It, like we said, we just never left each other's side pretty much. So it just felt like that's where we were supposed to be. I'm not nervous to get married at all. It's like the, most, the best thing ever. I'm really excited. Good evening, everyone. Hi. Thank you so much for braving the weather. Obviously, we're going to have the ceremony in the tent, so no one is getting soaked. And it's gonna be great, so, woo! Thank you all so much for coming. I know Logan and Alexa are so happy to have everyone they love under one roof, so what a special night. Can we just give a round of applause for this badass couple that endured the rain and they're still smiling? And I, I really look around this room and everybody feels like family. It's so amazing how the two families have sort of blended together and all these friends blend it together. Logan, Logan, Logan. Wow, we got into a lot of trouble. Countless fish shows together. I remember the look on Becky's face when we went to our first fish concert on July 21st, 1998. Uh, she knew more about what we were getting into than we even did. But Logan is great. His laid back personality makes him always up for an adventure. He is a loyal person and an honest man. He values family and friendships. He is kind-hearted and very often hilarious. And when you talk to Logan, you can always tell that he cares. I love you very much. I met Alexa for the first time at a Black Sabbath concert. Yeah! Rock and roll, baby! She can hang with the best of them, and she's always down for a great time. And our girl pack, the Sexy 16, was formed. Alexa was definitely the queen of the path. She has the same spunk that she has today. Some of, Sexy Lexi, that's right. Needless to say, life is never a dull moment when she's around. This was also the time in our lives when everyone's, you know, kind of trying to figure it out, but lucky for Alexa, it's when she found her other half and the person who is the sweet to her spicy. Every relationship is a balancing act and Alexa balances out Logan completely. Logan and Alexa met and you could tell they were meant to be together. Always and forever. And I mean always. I literally don't think they have been apart for more than a few days since the day that they met many, many years ago. Logan, thank you for being the most incredible man to my best friend. You set the bar ridiculously high for all other men out there. It's actually kind of annoying. You are kind, patient, loving, thoughtful, the best dog dad, and there's no one else that I would rather share Alexa with than you. To a lifetime of moments and memories, May the two of you continue to grow, laugh, and love together. I look forward to all that lies ahead for you guys, and I love you both, so cheers. I'm gonna do my best here. I've had some time over the last few weeks to really think about our wedding and what it means to me. It's easy to get swept up in the planning and party and overlook why we were doing this in the first place. At the core of it, I realized that today, and more specifically this moment, 
is my opportunity to express my devotion to you in front of the people that have shaped our lives. <laughs> I've always felt that the one aspect in my life I'm completely in control of is my word and loyalty to those I love. Knowing that, here's my vow to you. I promise to give you my warmth when you are cold, to give you my comfort when you are sad, to give you my peace when you are angry, to give you my endurance when you are tired, and to give you my love always. So to follow in my dad's footsteps and quoting Bob Dylan, now you know everywhere on earth you go, you're gonna have me as your man. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Logan, since my dad passed, it was so important for me to find someone that I knew in my heart he would love. I wanted so badly to find someone that reminded me of him, caring, gentle, loving, intelligent, handsome, kind of goofy, and ultimately to find the love he and my mom had shared. It was August 8th, 2012. We'd only known each other for three weeks or so and had not and had hung out two or three times at most. One of those times, I very casually mentioned to you that the eighth was the anniversary of my father's passing and that it was a very heavy and not so pleasant day for me. I woke that morning with a heavy heart as I had done for the previous nine years and rolled over to grab my phone only to see a text from you saying you were thinking of me and hoping I had a great day. In that moment, I dreamt of today. I dreamt of being able to be with someone so kind so thoughtful, someone who could take a fragment of a something told to them, likely after a few drinks, and truly make someone feel as special as you made me feel that morning, and pretty much every morning thereafter. Logan, I promise to make you feel that way every day for the rest of our lives. I promise to stand by your side in amazing times and not so great ones. I promise to encourage your dreams and help you achieve everything you want in life. I promise to try to be kind and patient and forgiving <laughs> and also to try to put the dishes in the dishwasher and not in the sink or on the counter. I promise to make you laugh at least once a day and I promise I'll never stop making up songs about you and our dogs and singing them very loudly throughout our house unless you just tell me to stop but you wouldn't. But more than anything Logan I promise to love you today and every day for the rest of our lives. This would normally be the father of the bride giving this speech. And uh, I happen to have been married to my best friend. And uh, my daughter was lucky enough to marry her best friend. My biggest regret is that my husband never personally met Logan because uh, they're so much alike. She tells me about this guy she met. I meet this guy and I swear to God, thought to myself, this is the man I believe this, my daughter is going to marry. I love this kid. I love this kid. The minute you were born, nothing ever became more important to me from you than you because you're the only person that's ever seen my heart from the inside. I might have given you your first breath, but you're my reason for living and my reason for breathing. And now I sincerely can say, even though it's so difficult for me to not be here with my husband, not be here with her father that raised her and loved her so deeply, I can be at peace because of this man right here, because she found him. And with all that, I thank you. Thank you for loving my dog. I thank you. I love you both. By the old gods and the new gods. And by the authority invested in me by the internet. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the ground.
Yeah.